In a theatre of operations, soldiers of a particular country are connected via radio or portable computers. This is how they communicate and locate each other's positions in their national responsibility area. However, in a multinational operation, such as in Afghanistan, the soldiers from various countries need to work closely with one another, each with their own communication systems. Estonian Lieutenant Kappa has been to Afghanistan twice and identified certain difficulties. Uh, for example, if I'm on a patrol and I see uh, some enemy soldiers, I have to report it back to my headquarters and, and I can deal with it if it's only me and my Estonian soldiers out there. But if there is, uh, for example, another nation as well operating in the area, like uh, Americans, for example, doing their uh, they job, which might be a little bit uh, another task than I have, and I see an enemy and they're moving towards the Americans. I have to radio first to my headquarters. They have to contact with the American headquarters and then the information shall go down from their uh, chain of command and from their network, which uh, might take five to 10 minutes. In order to reduce the response time and facilitate better data exchange among different national soldiers systems, NATO is developing its own system. Each nation will be able to install this program on its own equipment the local coalition commander will have the option to use it. It takes the information, converts it into a common data model, sends it across, and then it's reconverted -con into the national system with very little impact on the national system at all. The system was presented during an exercise in Belgium. German, Norwegian, American, Dutch and Slovak soldiers used the system in an imaginary coalition scenario. It allows them to communicate more easily and at the same time to visualize individual locations. They seemed quite impressed. Uh, we have uh, different nations speaking across a network at a coalition level, or uh, lower dismounted soldier level. This is absolutely fantastic. So across borders, across boundaries, uh, we can see positions of different forces, we can see positions of insurgents, we can see different positions of, of just about everything. During the exercise, David identifies a rebel. He immediately sends the information to the other nations, who receive it in graphic form. They got some information about the, some insurgents moving into our area. Now I can see them on the map. They're about 400 meters east of us. Frederick joined the Norwegian army five months ago. He's had half a day's training on the system. It's very easy a new system which could help save lives through a better understanding of the terrain by all troops there. This system, even though it's been several years in, in design, is a perfect example of what we're trying to achieve with smart defense. Nations pooling their resources, pooling their know-how, pooling their capabilities to come up with something that works, is deliverable, is deployable, and is inexpensive, relatively speaking. The interoperability system for the ground troops was designed on the basis of feedback from coalition forces during the NATO operation in Afghanistan. It will soon be ready and available to the nations that want it. This is a NATO Channel report.